on. Cut down. It's so on right now. Calm down, all right? I just need to know where it came from. I want to see is change. Me? What kind of safe it was? And he says, nah, dog. All she said is that it's like super legit. He got high. Yani got high. Muhashmala. This is a 2023 American biographical drama film directed by Alejandra Marquez Abella. Screenplay written by director herself with Bettina Gilois and Hernan Jimenez, based on the book Reaching for the Stars, which is the autobiography of American astronaut Jose. Michael Peña is in the leading role. Other attractions are Rosa Salazar, Julio Cesar Cedillo, Veronica Falcon, Bobby Soto, Sarayu Blue, and Garrett Dillahunt. I have to go. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I know. He keeps calling your name. Yeah. I'm sorry. The plot is like this. This is a real-life story of Jose M. Hernandez, whose application was rejected by NASA 11 times, but at the twelfth time he personally visited NASA, and convinced them why he is a suitable candidate for the job. During late 60s, Jose was a kid of Mexican migrant workers who picked grapes at California plantations. He fought poverty and other odds to fulfill his childhood dream to become an astronaut. Persistence, patience, self-belief and hard work made him achieve this feat. Later he was selected as mission specialist for STS-128, a NASA space shuttle mission to the International Space Station that launched on August 28, 2009. What the hell are you doing? How did you get in here? I have keys. Why do you have keys to the lab? This is my opinion about the film. This is a real-life story which is touching. The script is well written. The momentum is not so fast but very much engaging. This movie depicts all the positive qualities needed to achieve a distant dream. Background music is apt for the scenes. Cinematography is also pleasant. Our stars four. You know what? I think you're going to be one of those people who can actually come up with an answer to that kind of question. This film generates different type of emotions. In life everyone faces adverse situations, but what sets some guys apart is their unbreakable self-belief and persistence to continue the pursuit. Here, in Jose's childhood the constant shifting between Mexico and states used to hamper his education. He also had to help his parents at work, after that only he could be able to attend the classes. His kind-hearted teacher encouraged him and advised his parents to settle in states to not hamper his education, which later the parents obliged. After graduating as engineer he joined National Laboratory of California. He was constantly looked down by his white colleagues, but later he became their instructor. His application was rejected by NASA 11 times, but gradually he accumulated the skill sets what NASA looking for. And at the twelfth time he personally visited NASA and convinced them to select him. That's a lot of work. Man. I've been on the verge of giving up after each and every rejection, but you know what sir, here I am. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured I'll be standing here again in a year. Michael Peña done a wonderful job as the protagonist. He is a wonderful actor. So far, in many roles he impressed me with his performance. American Hustle, Crash and of Watch, and the TV series Narcos Mexico are some of them. Rosa Salazar's Jose's wife Adela was also excellent. The strength, support and sacrifice needed for Jose was Adela while efficiently managing a large family. Julio Cesar Cedillo and Veronica Falcon as Jose's parents were also impressive, Bobby Soto as Jose's cousin got a small but impactful role. Sarayu Blue did a cameo as Kalpana Chawla, the late Indian-American astronaut who was one of the seven crew members who died in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. Also Garrett Dillahunt did the role as astronaut trainer Frederick Sturkow. Director Alejandra Marquez Abella done an impressive job. She has been working for television for more than a decade, including directing two episodes of the Narcos Mexico series. A few films like The Good Girls, and Northern Skies Over Empty Space, are also in her kitty as director. My parents came to this country uh, looking for a better life and we picked, well, we picked your food. Overall, this film is a good watch. 
This is a real life story with lot of emotions. It gives a good message also, like having a dream, and following it with persistence and hard work will bring success at some point of time in your life. I would rate this a 7.5 out of 10 and recommend you to watch it for one time.